is the top 10 Prince song video the greatest artist of all time maybe not greatest of all time definitely over Michael I put him over Michael that might be controversial obviously I put him over Michael way over Michael that's the current controversial part I definitely put him over Michael but I put him a lot more over Michael which might be controversial so but anyways yeah top 10 Prince song probably my favorite artist I don't know. Probably. I like 80s stuff, but I, I pretty much, I mean, all of his classics I love, like. 1999, Purple Rain, Parade, Sign of the Time, Dirty Mind. There's more, there's obviously the self-titled is up there too. These I think are mostly from the classics. I haven't heard all of his albums because he has like 35 fucking albums, but yeah. <laughs> Probably. Obviously, like percentage of them that are good are not just good they're obviously amazing great but i don't even think he's like probably 50 percent good <laughs> like solid like they're all solid i guess maybe not like good like eight out of ten but a lot of them are like half close to half of them diamonds and pearls graffiti bridge shit like that they're all pretty good but anyways yeah top 10 print songs it's hard. You you could switch probably the lower ones out for honorable mentions on a different day. But number ten, Lady Cap Driver off 1999. Is it the last? No, it's not the last song. It's one of the later songs. But I love the ending of the album. I don't like like Delirious. What if we were married? Like shit like that. Obviously, I love 1999 and Red Corvette. But um. 1999. I don't know. Like the first time I heard it, I didn't like it at all. But then I listened to it more. And I like it. And I love the ending. I love Free. Free isn't on here. Free ah, Free and Lady Cab Driver is close. But I love Lady Cab Driver. It's really long. Like a lot of the songs on 1999. But it has a great groove. Phenomenal groove. And there's not a lot there. It's just kind of bass. Percussion. And just. I don't know. It just blew me away. But yeah. Lady Cab Driver is just super light. And I love his light tone that he does on like. Dirty Mind, and on this album, and on others probably, but that's the first. Dirty Mind is weirdly where it is, like, when you were mine and shit like that. Like, there's a lot of, sort of, his light singing, like, Lady, cab driver. Like, I love that. That's a great, amazing groove. Saying a lot of cool shit, and it's just fun. It's just fun. I mean, that's what Prince is all about. It's so much fun to listen to him just riff and just sing about shit. So fun, amazing song. Number nine, Still Waiting, off the self-titled, one of the later tracks. Again, it's this light tone. I guess it comes up a lot more than I think, or maybe I just attach myself to it, but the, the light singing and the melody is just amazing. The fucking, you know. Still waiting. It's amazing, super catchy, and like, he, he mastered he really mastered like sort of all the aspects of sort of like negative like 
views towards relationships or sort of like maybe self-pity party but also it's like sexy and sensual like he has so many aspects the way he writes songs and still waiting is sort of the obviously it's self-titled so i think it's like second release and it's like this is like the root of sort of but it's it's very tame it's childlike i love chat like sort of songs written from the view of a child like so everybody like literally no one can't relate to this song like everybody in the whole fucking world and it's also sort of it's very unique like anyone can relate to it but it's very 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 unique in the approach he takes to it so still waiting number nine Number eight, got a broken heart again. Maybe this isn't the best, it's not the best spot for it because it's literally like very, very similar to Still Waiting. And like same sort of delivery and sort of like same sort of cadence almost. Uh, but Dirty Mind, I love that album. It's got more funk in it, more like, it's more crazy synths. I think Dirty Mind's definitely better than the self-title, but I love the self-title. But, um, Obviously, they're sort of, maybe this was even from the same sort of session, run of sessions. It's very similar, but an, again, great melody. Love the arrangement on this track. And it's, I I don't know, like, it, it may, it, looking back at it, it makes me feel like, obviously, I don't understand it to the fullest extent, like, all, like, you know, how amazing and why it's so amazing. But it's just like, it's like, looking back, it's like, we got a broken heart again, and still waiting, it's like the same song, but they're still just both so unique, and so fun, and so relatable, and so funky, everything, it's got, like, I don't know, it's just amazing, what he did. And the next is the next song, is kind of like, got a broken heart again, and still waiting, I could never take the place of your man, but it's, this one's a little more lively off Sign of the Times, it's near the end. It's sort of a longer song. I love sort of the ending passage. I love the the drums are really, there's obviously synthetic and that's like sort of the point, but they're unique. But like, they're almost aquatic. Which like, this album, the album didn't really have, like it wasn't that aquatic as like Starfish and Coffee. I don't know, like the, the mix, like the, what is it, Tom, like sounds like aquatic near the end. It's weird. I don't know, it, it stuck out to me. But I, lo I love uh, I Could Never Take the Place of Your Man. It's sort of similar themes, but it's a little different of an angle. Like, you know, like the... Who should I get with is still, like, thinking about their ex or whatever. It's, like, very simple. Very simple. He's, like, the, the title, like, it's crazy. I Could Never Take the Place of Your Man. It's, like, what is this title, bro? Like, this is some top 40 bullshit. Like, it's so just amazing. The melody is amazing. The lyric, it's insanely relatable. And, like... Just when he gets up there and then he's the descent i love the descending melodies that he does on like free and like on this and it's just like so grand like Baby, i can't sing it and waste my time like it's just i don't know amazing melody love that melody next number six i want to be your lover <laughs> i guess a lot of his songs are kind of the same i want to be your lover very lively the scents are all there. The gang's all here. I mean, this is print. I mean, this is, and the first line is just like so catchy, so amazing. I ain't got no money. I ain't like those other guys you hang around, which is obviously funny because obviously he has money now. But I guess maybe sort of the, the ethos or the joke here is that from this song he made all his money because this is his first hit, and that's really when he got in but his first record probably had a hit i haven't actually listened to for you i think that's but yeah i want to be your lover again very simple a lot very simple and very comparative to i could never take the place of your man but the synths are really lively it's fun hearing him riff the jokes like i want to you want i want you to be the only one i come for or some shit i <laughs> come <laughs> just like the dumb dirty jokes super but he's super eccentric in his delivery and i love i want to be your lover it's one of the greatest songs ever. Probably should be higher, but just in what these songs mean to me. I mean, you could easily say this is the best song. That's one song that's like sort of less personal. Personally, what I love. Like, but I want to be a lover. Has to be on here. Starfish and Coffee, another great one. I hate the fucking phone in the beginning. It's like, uh, it's like mixed, like so much higher than the rest. So like, it's like, ding! like it's uh, uh, it's fun though. I mean, it's fun. It keeps you on edge. It keeps, you know, it's like a transitional uh, 
device. But Starfish and Coffee, uh, very simple chords and progression. But um, he makes it work. It is a catchy progression. Just a v and a, gr a great cadence on the hook. And just very vivid imagery of what is going on with the, the uh, what is her name, Sadie. Just a quirky girl. Quirky. Starfish and coffee for the morning. It's that simple. What does it mean? I don't know. She's just, she's not like the other girls. She's different. And you don't have to be that quirky to be different than other people. People are all the same, but whatever. <laughs> um, number four, 17 days. This is one that I might switch around. Maybe it should be a little lower, but it is one of my favorite songs. The for on the first posthumous, was this the first posthumous? I'm not sure. But 17 Days is an immediate hit. I think it was probably the biggest song off of the piano and a microphone. But I love that song. I love the, the, uh, like it just, it, it starts out, I'm off so fast, so, so quick. Too fast, <coughs> too fast, too quick. Um, it's a great melody. It's immediately catchy. And it sounds like he has like five hands playing the piano. I don't know anything about playing piano, but it's just amazing. And then the lyrics are immediately catchy, relatable, sort of has this, and again, it's a lot like Starfish and Kavi has this odd sort of reference to sort of a menial, or not a menial, but just a strange thing like 17 days, like why 17 days? Maybe it's a reference to an actual event. Maybe not, but it's, you know, a catchy idea. Not something you hear, I don't know. Like, people do <coughs> people do reference time in, like, pop songs. Like, obviously, but just, like, specific amounts of times I think is sort of unique to this song. Like, 17 days, I don't know. Two weeks and a little bit is weird. When it's not exactly a week or a month, it's, I don't know, there's something interesting about it, but it's a very memorable hook. And sad. It's very sad, obviously, because this is his first posthumous album. Number three, I Would Die For You. Maybe it should be number four, because it's got four in the name. I Would Die For You. You can't you can't leave Purple Rain songs off this. I mean, like, maybe you were thinking, like, oh, he's gonna just do, like, random songs that are all the same thing. Like, <laughs> I can never take the place of your man. I want to be your lover. Got a broken heart again. But no, I do love Purple Rain, too, obviously. Is that my, I guess it's my favorite. I mean, you can't say it's not. Like, it's so fucking good. It's like the greatest album ever. No, none of his albums can match it, really, in quality. Maybe on a given day I'll ch or a month, I'll change like what my favorite one album is. But like, you really can't get away from Purple Rain. It's so fucking good. But I Would Die For You is very, you know, just, just a progression. The drums are hitting. They're, they're groovy immediately. And they're unique. I, I, I need to get, the like drum kit the prince drum kit like the exact sounds like i need that shit for to you know play with if anyone has that i know you guys probably like that's that sh like that is some shit like give me that for my fucking like i need like then don't give me anything else just give me the drum kit anyone in the comments has the drum kit like the exact sounds like actual quality like the prince drum kit but i would die for you is an amazing amazing song sort of one of his only religious songs even though he was Maybe not very religious at this point, became, but became Jehovah's Witness, obviously later in life. And obviously is sort of blasphemous comparing himself to Jesus or whatever. But I think he's done it in a very clever way and matches the movie very well too. And it's all here. It, it, like this, I Would Die For You, there's other songs that you could say is the quintessential Prince song. But like I Would Die For You is sort of just these simple messages that are just at the heart of every song that all sort of mean the same thing are sort of coming from I mean that's love basically whatever I mean that's this grand statement that love is all sort of the same who who like how did no one think of that <laughs> how did no one make a song I would die and people have copied it probably a hundred times the weekend has a song called die for you He's like literally just fucking copies the exact words not the weekend diss I always end up dissing some like modern artists <laughs> I fuck with the weekend though, and J. Cole. Shout out J. Cole. Number two, Do You Lie. Now this, I don't know how revered this song is, but I absolutely love Do You Lie. I love Parade a lot. I know I haven't put a Parade song on here. I haven't seen the movie, Under the Cherry Moon, but that 
soundtrack is amazing. I might do a video, Purple Rain versus Parade. Obviously, Purple Rain's better, but ah, I can't say that. I'm gonna cut that out. Um, <laughs> I ruined the video. But Do You Lie is an absolutely amazing song. It's got this sort of the back and forth of the like sort of skit vocals like on girls and boys like the sort of French I don't know what it what she says in French to begin and then it's just very calm and sort of like darky like you might think like melody like doo -doo 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 -doo. but I love the sort of soundtrack like goofy like 50s like random I don't know it's just really I don't know it's endearing it's funny it's fun it he never takes himself too seriously obviously and, I mean, this song is just amazing, Do You Lie. Um, I love how it builds up and becomes more and more jazz-centered. jazz, jazz centered And it just sort of builds these general riffs on, you know, relationship ideas that he is always covering. And um, it just builds and builds and gets to this really great place. He does all these crazy vocal inflections and switches the way and that really bounces off the f female vocalist, which is weird because he doesn't really have, he doesn't really even use background vocalists in a lot of his songs, but he does it to great effect on Parade, and especially this song, Do You Lies, one of my favorite songs ever. When does, when doves cry is number one. Maybe I should have done it more if <laughs> build it or whatever. Um, when doves cry is, uh, you can't get away from When Doves Cry. It had to be on the list. So you probably just thought it was number one. I mean, you can't make a Tao San Prince song list without When Doves Cry. It's literally like the greatest song ever. A stellar guitar playing. It's almost like he's just teasing us. It's like he has all these talents. He's like, he never plays the guitar on like any, like on Dirty Mind, Prince. Like he only plays on like Bambi, like on the self-titled. He barely plays on Sign of the Times, and then he's just like on Purple Rain. He just has like these amazing solos. Amazing sort of metaphor. Very simple once again. Not all that to it. It's pretty, I mean, When Doves Cry is like perfect love, you know, has ended or love has ended. Just really basic, but really poetic and beautiful. And I love, on all his tracks, maybe I haven't mes mes mentioned it as much. As I truly love it but like he does like background or vocal inflections either off of who someone else who's singing or himself like on when doves cry like he'll like a set he'll you know the main line was melody line will ascend and then his background vocal will be like a little lighter and decent I don't know like he, he follows up his vocals like near the end like the last time he says when doves he's like when does uh, skillful and just brings a lot to the track so much energy and I can't I mean it's hard to say what the best part of this song when doves cry is the amazing you know riffs and sh and stuff the structure the lyrics or the amazing vocal delivery eccentric bounces off himself he's like a million minds in one bouncing vocal lines off himself and it's just absolutely pristine every you know there is not a dull moment in the song or in any of these songs eh. I mean you could like a second you could probably be like oh I'm kind of bored of this melody for a second but this song absolutely not I mean you can't not like when doves cry it's really impossible I don't know how you couldn't like the song or couldn't love Prince so yeah that's my list lady cab driver number 10 still waiting nine got a broken heart again eight I could never take the place of your man, seven. Six, I want to be your lover. Five, starfish and coffee. Four, 17 days. Three, I would die for you. Two, do you lie? And number one, when doves cry. So that's my video. Thank you. Love is the same.